What's up guys? Welcome back to another video, episode, vlog, whatever you guys want to call it. So, as always, I'm in the garage. Uh, today's video is something I, I've been meaning to do for a very long time. Uh, unfortunately, during the circumstances that we're under, I'm going to have to do it from the garage again. So, I wanted to revise my mod list on my Spoon ES1. Now, the very first episode I ever did on YouTube, uh, man, I was nervous as hell. Um, and it didn't come out the way it should have came out. I was nervous, and because I was so nervous, I left out a lot of uh, key important things. So, this is going to be a revised mod list on the Spoon ES1. I'm going to start from the exterior, make my way to the interior, and then to the engine bay, of course. So, as you guys can see... Spooniest one. It's dirty. I gotta clean it up. It's gotta once I get that alternator out and swapped, we can go back to having some fun. Notice put the new collab sticker from Mercer Built and myself. But uh that's well, the spooniest one right now. Just chilling. So that being said, we're gonna get this vlog going. Uh, guys, let me know. I, I have stopped putting the intro in it. Do you guys prefer me do the videos without the intro, or do you guys want the intro back, or do you guys want the OG intro that I did uh, with all the car pulls and everything like that? Let me know in the comments below, please. And it's fitting since we are doing a vlog on the Spooniest one. Be wearing my Spoon T-shirt. It's actually pretty nice. I got the the heater going on in the garage, so. Yeah, let's uh, dive right into this and kick some ass. Alright guys, so we're going to start off with the very front of the car. So, as you guys can see, I am rocking EA, not E, VIS J-style carbon fiber hood with the aeromotive uh, hood latches. Beautiful, I love this hood. So happy I got it. Uh... It just changed the dynamic of the front. Uh, this season that passed, as you guys noticed, I changed up the, the grill from the badges one to the RS style one with the RS badge and a blue Honda emblem. If you guys are inquiring, these badges are off DC5 RSX. We are running black housing headlights, but I don't know if you guys can see it. Over here, it's coming apart. So I'm gonna be ordering a new set. I'm obviously gonna have to cut the other side open for the intake as you guys can see we have a cut black housing headlight with the intake coming out with the turbo guard uh, filter for it spoon style front lip type 1 sticker type 1 sticker on the sinful vision splitter and uh, yeah back to that so this is starting to come apart because uh, of the heat because that little reflector thing broke off so now it's just straight heat. I've been thinking of either get the same set again as these or go with the all clear. So I'm undecided. Guys, let me know in the comments below, please, what you guys think uh, we should do. Leave it with the amber or go with the all clear. So working our way around. You go, as you guys know, it's a pearl white paint job and a black painted roof. Not wrapped, it's paint. It's got a golden red flake to it. And uh, my Just Send It banner from the brand. That's the OG one. Now the new one's the, the font is smaller and more in the middle. We, uh, well, I got the carbon fiber spoon style mirrors. Obviously it's not authentic. It's carbon fiber and it's a, a spoon style. But good enough for me. Spoon more spoon decals and the Spoon Swan under the DC5 Amber side markers. So as you guys are aware as well, last season I finally got PCI side skirts. So they are not meant for this car guys. So I'm gonna let you guys know. If you go in the videos prior, you'll see how I got it on. It's for an EK4 SIR and me and Kevy G, we custom fitted it to the uh, ES1 body. Now, it works, it's good, it's perfect, but I've asked Mercer, I would like to do better bracketry, so 
when the car goes there we're gonna most likely change up the bracketry uh, the bracketry sorry and uh, go from there I've replaced the colored moldings with uh, the OEM uh, flat black ones they look phenomenal the contrast on the white and obviously the uh, Kandrel style door door carts uh, because why not uh, complements the car really well and I also added this during the season OEM Civic Fiero VIRS now guys I know the 7 gen Fieros didn't come with the Fiero VIRS decals on the door that's off the EK models and the EG models I'm quite aware of it and I wanted to give my own spin on things the point of doing up your car is to show your creative side I guess you could say so I love it it looks phenomenal on the car and yeah these uh these are great pieces I gotta thank garage 16 for selling me the last set he had in Canada so thanks boss continuing on on the exterior I've been contemplating changing out the AVS um, rain guards as you guys can see they're they're nice these ones uh, come in from the inside so it gives it that cleaner look but then I really love the Mugen style ones I I have on Ashley ZL those complement uh, the car so well so I'm a little torn but uh, nonetheless these are still a great set working our way to the back as you've seen in a previous video we did the HIC rear window visor but this is off the two door and uh, a subscriber of mine showed me his four door one which is the one I originally wanted it's not the ugly droopy looking one that in the previous video you saw so uh, those are sold out everywhere unfortunately so I'm as soon as I find one I'm gonna order two of them and put them on the yeah, L but I do love the way this one looks on the car I just wish it was more full but as you can see I lined it up right over here on both sides so it's perfectly centered and symmetrical uh this was starting to pop up so what i did is i put that heater going for a few hours the garage got warm plus it was a really nice day out and i put some weight on it and it stuck pretty good so i'm really happy with that moving our way to the rear uh here we go so we got the oem back lip painted flat black by yours truly pci Integra diffuser, all right. So Mercer, man, I love this guy so much. Uh, I keep telling you guys that all the time. He made this fit, made his own bracketry, and made his own cutout so the the turn down could go through and everything. And then I don't know if you guys can see from here. He made his own block offs, so it's a full diffuser in the rear. Uh, phenomenal, phenomenal. I've driven this car with and without it, and guys. Aero does make a big difference. It, it really holds down the car. It, it really does. I have the JDM Inspired taillights. Obviously, I got these from eBay a very long time ago. Now, the ones that replicate the OEM ones, they have like a little red thing here, uh, the reflector. Uh, and it's hard to find the all clear. So, uh, I really love these. These are fantastic. Uh, VIS carbon trunk for the ES1, which, guys... Uh, a lot of you have asked me where I got it and ironically I was on VIS to see if I could find any more carbon parts for the uh, Spoon ES1 and they have the 01 to 05 carbon fiber trunks again on their website for sale so guys go on VIS's website uh, I'll put the link in the description below and get it it is like I love these trunks man the carbon looks so good on these cars <clears throat> Continuing on, sorry I had to clear my throat. This is a, a one-off. It's a carbon fiber hybrid spoiler. It's not hydro dipped or anything. It's really authentic carbon fiber, but it's overlaid. So I'm not gonna preach like, oh yeah, it's all carbon fiber. No, it's still an OEM hybrid uh, spoiler, but it's overlaid in real carbon fiber, and it looks phenomenal. Uh, AK carbon fiber hit her up she if you're in uh, the GTA she does amazing work uh, let me see yes so now big upgrade uh, someone in the summertime hit my Civic well not last summer uh, the beginning of the year we'll say that 
and it mangled the paint all the way in the center. I was pretty pissed off. That, that bumper was probably one of the very few original panels of this car. So I got fed up. I eliminated the rear fog light and we went with a set of uh, six speed bumper diffusers. And you guys, I know you guys are probably like six speed. So guys, Golden Eagle, Speed Factory, a lot of companies make these and they're nice. They, they help, they do their job. But man, the price for the uh, Golden Eagle ones was so expensive. And I got those on eBay for $32. And it was like five bucks ship. So it was a steal. Looks the same, does the same thing. You know, guys, if you can save money, be smart and save money where you can. Instead of paying a hundred and something dollars for two pieces of aluminum, that $32 ones that are in the same grade, same identical do the same job. Okay, carrying on this past season I also decided I was gonna rebadge the car again so I bought a brand new Civic badge from Honda and Rick hooked me up with the Firo badge from the uh, 01 to 05 and I love it it's beautiful uh, I also ordered online and I I was so happy to get it well this was in a video all its own I got the VIRS sticker from the EK style and instead of getting just the RS badge for the 7 Gen, I, I like this style better. So I got that online and it's beautiful. It's small little touches, guys. Attention to detail really does matter. Uh, I love it. And as you guys know, decals, everything I support, everything uh, that is special to me in my life. One of my biggest supporters, Garage 16. Uh, the YouTube channel so people can uh, check it out when they're cruising behind the car Mercer built my my biggest biggest supporter outside of my wife and and my family my Instagram keep gunning cuz this guy Aki motivates me I'm not gonna lie I'm not gonna even hold it down Aki is the shit man this guy really motivates me to elevate my game and obviously just send it my brand which keep gunning inspired me so I have to throw that out, I have to show respect where it's due. So, one of the biggest changes I did uh, this season was I said bye to the Rota Slipstreams. Now, I've said it so many times before, I love Rota Slipstreams. They are definitely one of, if not my biggest favorite rims, but I also do love me RPF ones. So. Everyone who follows me on social media and has seen in the videos uh, prior of me going to car shows and whatnot, I had the silver RPFs. And I love them in silver and it looked good on the car, but this car deserves a dark colored wheel because it just complements it so well. So a big shout out to FIA Customs again. Uh, he, he does amazing, amazing work. Got these uh, RPF ones, and I wish I had better lighting. Uh, power coated in a magnesium blue. They look phenomenal. Did the yellow decals on them, and we complemented it with chromoly spoon lug nuts. And I gotta thank Rick. Man, Rick has got me so much more good spoon stuff, and so much other rare little items that that I've struggled to find and he's gotten me for amazing prices and then not only that he helps out everybody i send his way so guys gotta show garage 16 the love uh he just elevates my cars to another level with the products that he supplies guys my brake system spoon caliper so i'm just gonna break it down it's off a of dc2 we got it milled on the inside thank you john k tuned uh eight mils so it would clear and now it's a whole caliper as you guys can see it grabs the whole caliper, not just a little bit, the whole caliper. Now, you're probably wondering what kind of rotor that. It's an 11 inch rotor from a Prelude SRV, a 1992 Prelude SRV. Mercer redrilled it to 4x100, and there you go. That's how you get a, a spoon brake kit to work on a 4 bolt 4x100. Uh, I could have easily gone 5 bolt, but I, I love 4 bolt and I wanted to keep 4 bolt, so we say 4 bolt. The tires that we got wrapped around these bad boys are Bridgestone Potenzas. 
RE71Rs. Guys, I love these tires. This is gonna be my third season on them. Like, this is the last season I have on them. Like, I've rotated the fronts to the backs and the backs to the fronts, and that's it. I'm gonna have to buy another set at the end of the season because they do their job, man. They get hot, they get sticky, they hook up, and it allows the spoon just want to do what it always does, and that's hurt people's feelings. And I'm sorry if that comes out a little bit cocky, but it has to be said. It just has to be said. All right, boys and girls, I'm gonna be opening up the doors to the interior of the Spoon ES1. You guys, show you guys my interior. I'm so proud of it, actually, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, it's freaking awesome. Yeah, like I can smell the, the interior right now. It's, oh my God, it smells so good. I love this car. 14 years with this bad boy. And me and this old boy, we're not done yet. We're gonna change the game here in Canada. We're gonna make we're gonna make it better. We're gonna show everybody what a seven gen. Well, we've already showed you what a seven gen can do, but we're also doing it with the Mugen EL. We're gonna get a lot more people in seven gens because these cars are very underrated and they have so much potential. But let's get to it. So for the interior, I, I would turn on the dome light, but the battery's dead. But uh, let me see if I can lighten it up a little bit. All right, so I lightened it up a little bit. Still messing with the settings on the camera, still getting used to it. But uh, man, best investment I ever did was get this Canon camera. So guys, right off the bat, all the plastic interior trimmings are off a 01, oh sorry, an 04 Acura EL. So the back dash, which I'll get to in a second, the floor runners, everything, door carts. All off an Acura EL, except for the RSX dash and center console, which Mercer and I went to Cookstown and we stripped three RSXs to make it into one. And you now it just complements the car. It's like the nice one of the nicest OEM dashes, you know, next to like the Integra dash and the CRX dash. I love this dash. It, it suits this car so well. So. Uh, we got the Billet k Race shifter box with a spoon shift knob, which we shortened and now it's locked. It, it's really love the way Mercer modified it. It's fantastic. Spoon steering wheel, yes, authentic. And this thing was a, a nice hefty price, but worth every penny. As you guys know, energy quick release, which in another video we tried to replace with the spoon one and obviously was a fail. We got the Mugen pedals, push to start, we got the AM wide band in the other pod and then the AM oil pressure on the other pod, spoon rear view mirror. Now you see this pin up or pin, I forgot what they call it, pineapple or pinstripe or pin, pin up material over here on the center of the DC5 blue Recaros, which yes I have blue DC5 Recaros. So this material, I found it on eBay. And I decided, you know what? I'm gonna do like the DC5. So I did all four door carts with it. They came out amazing. Let me show you. Oh. So. And in the rear, so I got a uh, suede fabric and that same material in black. And I took it to AAA and they reupholstered the back bench. They did an amazing job. Thank you guys very much. And our energy harness bar. I'm still thinking of which harnesses to run on it, to be honest with you. So I, I have no harnesses on it yet. But big ups to Mercer. He custom fabricated, he shortened this and then rewelded it together and then uh, remade these, he kept the end links. And then he remade his own bars to clear the seats and run the right way on uh, the seven gen because they don't make it for the seven gen. And then I got it power coated in uh, white to complement the blue and the car itself. Man, it looks phenomenal. I, I really do love it. Uh, just now, I don't know what color harnesses to go with. I was thinking the black Takatas, but I'm not sure. But if you guys have any ideas or suggestions, jot it down in the comments below. As you guys see, the back dash is black off the EL. Same original headliner, which I gotta do a nice cleaning on. And before I leave for audio, 
I'm not big into systems, but I do have a, a Kenwood Double Din that a next co-worker of mine hooked me up with. So thank you to that if you're watching, Ernie. And that's going to conclude the interior, guys, really. Oh, and spoon-style mats that I got on eBay for 100 bucks. I think they look cool, so I got it. Yes, I got a vacuum mat. Uh, and the carpeting is not that gray. It's also off in yell. So changed uh, quite a bit, a lot of stuff over here. So before I go to the front and show the engine bay and start talking about everything that we have under the engine bay, we are going to uh, do suspension and we are going to do the trunk. So the trunk is pretty simple. You guys don't mind the mess. I have the shocks to hold up the hood and my new alternator, which I gotta clean up. Our catch can we've got to install. And this is where I normally keep all the extra oils and fluids and tools when I'm out and about with it. Uh, we got a interstate battery with the aluminum tailor box and the spoon rear strut bar that Mercer custom to fit 100% on the spooniest one. Now, to talk about suspension, it's going to be a little bit more difficult. I'm not going to actually get on the car to show you the suspension. So, for the suspension, uh, function form type 2.5s, uh, all the way adjustable, all the way around, adjustment, dampening, all that fun stuff. BWR polished control arms, BWR camber kit in the rear. <coughs> uh, highlighter yellow beaks bar. Uh, Progress subframe brace, Progress 24 millimeter uh, sway bar with uh, adjustable end links. I'm missing anything. Am I missing anything? No, I think that's it for the rear. And then in the front, I have the. Guys, I'm not one to knock companies, but. Man, when something's overpriced and not worth it, I'm gonna tell you guys not to buy it. So, the front control arms, they're OEM. I power coated them black, they're fresh. And then I grabbed the energy bushings, the, uh, the control arm bushing kit, and got them pressed in by Mercer. It was cheaper, and guys, the control arms that Ketun uses is pretty much the same one. It's an OEM one with a Ketun sticker on it. So save yourselves the money, just get your control arms pressed with bushings. And that's it. You guys could go either the black ones or the red ones. Uh, I'm going to upgrade to the red ones this year because the more stiffer, more better. Uh, don't get me wrong, the black ones do a great job, but it will definitely help with like uh, wheel hop and wheel spin because uh, we are on a McPherson uh, stress setup. So just wanted to let you guys know that. And then that, everything else in my car is K-Tune for the majority of stuff because they make good parts. But guys, let's be honest. I know a lot of people are on a budget. And I was able to do all the fancy stuff because the car sat for four and a half years getting built from uh, inside out or outside in, whichever way you want to look at it. So save yourself some bucks. Just get the energy uh, bushing kit and get it pressed. Save yourself money and it does the same thing. So just wanted to let you guys know. All right, guys. So without further ado, this is quite possibly the best part of the car is under the hood. So... Before I start off with the obvious, I'm going to show you the not so obvious. So Mercer has uh, started making custom block offs for 7 gens with case swaps. So as you see, we eliminated the grommet there and got his billet. Mercer built the crest engraved one. And I don't know if you guys can see in the far back, he's got a big block off. Got a downstar uh, spike bolt to cover the threaded uh, stud. So there we go. There's that one. Looks phenomenal. The engine bay, so we ma color matched the engine bay to the body, just we didn't do the pearl. We left out the pearl for obvious reasons because I wanted to keep it like that OEM feel look where the, the contrast from the bay and the car. Uh, it is a K20, K24, A2 head, A2 bottom end, built. Full super tech valve, springs, retainers, keepers, guides, seals, you name it, it it's done. It's all super tech the head. Uh, I'm on Prionto stage two cams. Now, if I had known what I know now, I would have gone with a different cam to make more jam. Uh, they, they did limit me. Uh, the bottom end is also built. It's a CP piston, 11 five to one compression, Skunk 2 Alpha series rods and ACL bearings. The car made 262 horsepower and 202 torque. Now, 
I, I'm very content with the power that the car moves. It does it does what it's supposed to do. But when my tuner told me that the cams limited me from hitting the 300s, so I'm going to be upgrading the cams very very soon. So uh, that's that's it for the motor internally. Uh, it is with a spoon valve cover, spoon coil pack cover, spoon dipstick, drag cartel K tuned. Uh, uh, well, did I say dipstick oil cap? That's the dipstick with the retentioner kit. Uh, I really like the way the drag cartel one looks. Looks phenomenal. Speed factory uh, titanium dress up kit, which complements the, the yellow so well. Uh, K-Tune fuel pressure regulator, dash six feet in return. As you guys can see, blue uh, K-Tune fuel rail, Skunk 2 Ultra Street manifold, uh, K-Tune block off, S90 70 mil throttle body. Yeah, guys, made that jam with a 70 mil, and it's gonna hit close to 300s with a 70 mil. Custom intake that we have coming out the headlight, which we're looking to do in titanium. Uh, spoon thermostat, K tune hoses, uh, rye wire engine harness. Which, guys, now I know K tune makes it, but before K tune started making engine harnesses, uh, we went with rye wire and it's phenomenal. Great harness, uh, so clean, and it's very pricey, but well worth every penny. Gotta love it. K tune race shifter cables. Passport mounts with the red poly inserts. Uh, K tune clutch reservoir with custom brackets made by Mercer. Uh, DC5 brake booster and uh, brake master. Guys, we did the EP3 uh, electronic power steering conversion. So much cleaner, so much better. It's nice to have power steering again, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, we got the spoon uh, reservoir socks. Spoon strut bar for the DC5. Nice uh, custom ground kit by my Mercer. EP3 uh, power steering delete pulley. That's our alternator. That's our problem right there. But see how clean that one is? The other one's gonna be like, not so nice. Kinda sad. Damn it. Uh, we got the post mount from the CRV. All right guys, we got the coil rad. Spoon rad cap, got the spoon uh, rad fan switch. What else we got? We uh, are currently in a Type S non LSD tranny because we blew up the LSD tranny. Uh, Mishimoto fan shroud with slim fans. Uh, now, I get a kick out of this one. So I've been asked because I have a lot of spoon parts and uh, people have. Um, the spoon, uh, rigid colors. I do have rigid colors, but they're not spoon. So I'm not gonna pretend like I do have them. The rigid colors I'm using are the blocks ones. It's the exact same thing and a cheaper price. And uh, I didn't feel like it was worth spending that kind of money on rigid colors from spoon. So there you go. Blocks rigid colors for the uh, RSX EM M2, ES1, and EP3. Guys, back to this. So obviously, our sex subframe, uh, power repower coded. We did the proportioning valve off an Integra. It's 4040, and it has to be obviously non-LSD, uh, LSD well ABS. And then Mercer ran his lines cleanly. Like this guy did amazing, amazing work. Uh, we got the K-tuned race header for the RSX, and we wrapped it. Let me get the light out so you guys can get a look. We use the header wrap on it, which looks phenomenal. If you guys can see it, it's right there. Really love it. It goes into a three-inch exhaust that Mercer did for uh, for me as a gift. He uh, made me a custom pie cut three-inch exhaust with a K-tune turndown. Uh, I'd really love to show you guys so when the car goes there I really want to get that on on uh, on video because the work is amazing and um, big ups to Mike Fab he's the one that welded it all up because at the time Mercer didn't have his aluminum and his TIG welding you know the nice welder that he has now so Mike Fab did the solidest 
solid and welded up everything for us and uh, hit him up too. He does amazing, amazing beads. Guys, a gem. And he's Ralph's brother, the tuner, so two, two solid dudes, guys. So yeah, uh, I really wanna get that on video for you guys. Uh, I know I'm forgetting some more stuff, so I'm gonna get back to it. So, uh, the one thing that's been in, in clear picture and I've completely neglected to say it is the spoon rad hoses. I got the upper and lower rad hoses. The rest of the rad hoses are all OEM, uh, brand new from uh, the dealership that uh, Ralph works at. Got the K-tuned bracketry for the tranny. Inside the transmission, the only thing we did swap from the other one is the Speed Factory Springs and uh, the selector, which makes shifting so much better, guys. It, it, it's amazing. That little selector, man, it was pricey, but it made a big difference. Uh, one thing I'm so thankful for Rick is I always wanted to get these uh, spoon certified badges. I got two of them. Uh, this one is currently engraved, but I would really like one day to get this car authenticized by Spoon, either Spoon Canada or Spoon Japan. Uh, I'd, I'd really love that. Uh, Password JDM uh, Rad Stays uh, reversed. So the, obviously the logo is on the other side, but we got a Speed Factory dress up kit. The titanium ones, beautiful. Obviously the energy polished uh, hood holder. Uh, guys, I know there's a lot more. I'm trying to think. Uh, we obviously got the feed coming through here. Uh, RDX injectors, guys, I can't believe I forgot that. I'm running RDX injectors. Uh, you know, the engine bay is always the hardest part because so many little things and you gotta try to remember. And I believe this is where I also had a hard time when I first did the original video. So, uh, yeah. I'm trying to, oh, Mishimoto sandwich plate. That's in the rear uh, for the oil pressure sensor and all that. Yeah. Guys, I, I uh, uh, think that's uh, pretty much it. Obviously, all the sensors are brand new. Also, what I forgot to say is I got the uh, hybrid timing chain tensioner and I got the Circuit Hero timing chain guide on the motor C. Another couple things that from the internals that I completely forgot to, uh, to mention. Uh, I was actually honestly just staring at the motor. I'm like, man, what am I missing? And uh, yeah, it came to me. Also, the uh, aluminum uh, overflow tank that we got. See? Always missing some things. You gotta sometimes sit back and look and really inspect uh, before you guys uh, say so. The uh, Grashi scene actually has something in the works, uh, guys. For RSX, EP3, EM2, ES1, ES3. Uh, man, it'll even work CRVs and uh, elements because they, they share the same uh, style as us. Uh, so uh, I got it in the engine bay right now, but I'm not gonna show you guys because I got half of it. I'm waiting for the other half to come and I'm gonna be doing the full video on that. So luckily it's dark and you guys can't notice it. And if you guys did notice it, uh, don't say anything. Um, but yeah, I'm fortunate that Rick gave me the opportunity to uh, be the first one to install it and show it. So once that second piece comes in, uh, we are going to review it and I'll show you the install on it and everything so yeah guys I, I honestly I, I'm drawing brain fart like I I, I got a spoon uh, magnetic oil drain plug see forgot that uh, got the y-bands the sorry the O2 sensor and whatnot there's really not much I can really think of but that's pretty much the revised uh, revised model list on the spoon ES1 but you know, I got that good feeling like I'm missing something. And I know once I finish this video and I posted it up and everything is like, it's gonna dawn on me. And it's like, ah, oh, crap. Forgot this, this, and this. But uh, for now, this is it. This is part two. Uh, a more enthusiastic one. I'm not nervous. I, I'm actually enjoying this. Uh, uh, going over the car is just making me just like go crazy to drive it. Man, I gotta get this alternator done. Gotta get this car on the road ASAP. Just waiting for uh, some space at the shop. 
so I could bring the car and uh, start enjoying it with my subscribers and followers. Guys, I want to take you guys for rips in this thing. Uh, get your reactions. Uh, I just got that mount for the windshield that's coming in. Got it on Amazon for uh, $28. So it's a steal, man. Like, I'm, I'm so excited, guys. I'm freaking excited, man. I just want to take you guys, get your reactions, and just have fun, bang gears, you know, and just enjoy the car. Enjoy the car with all of you guys, you know. Guys, let's meet up. Let's go for cruises. All that fun stuff. Yeah, we could do that with the EL. I, I love cruising with the EL. Man, we went for a cruise last weekend. It was, it was sick. But definitely got to do it with the Civic. Uh, so, guys, thank you for tuning in. And please hit the like button. Please hit the like button. It, it really, really, really helps out. It helps the algorithm. It helps the, the channel uh, share more on, on, on YouTube. So, guys, please hit that thumbs up. Uh, thank you for the support. Uh, stickers. So, you're watching this right now. I'm down to my last one of these ones. And I still got a handful of the Muganiel and the Spoonius one, which I'll put here and here, here and here, here, or wherever. And I got restocked on the OG Just Sender ones, like the one on the back window. And they're all $5 each. I ship them anywhere. Doesn't matter. Anywhere. And uh, every purchase does help the channel, helps me get better, helps me get better stuff like the camera and, and other things and obviously it helps the channel, helps with the builds, helps with everything guys. So if you guys want to support, just DM me on Instagram, DM Mercer Built for some stickers too because he's got some as well and the Just Sender brand Instagram page, all the links are in the, uh, the description below and yeah. Thank you. Thank you for tuning in. I hope you guys enjoy the 7 Gen um, vlogs. Uh, man, I really want to get more people in 7 Gens. And I've, I've been seeing quite a bit more people buying them and starting to mod them. They're beautiful cars and they've been slept on for too long. Guys, let's wake up and get these 7 Gens. Uh, get them all known together. So, I'm going to conclude this vlog today. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching. Love you guys. As always, just send it. Peace.